Happy hump day, everyone. Welcome to day eight, uh, being a Wednesday. Hope we've all been joining the beers. Um, bit of a special one for me today because this is kind of one of my inspirations uh, for, the, for the day eight, bypass the centrifuge. Now, what is bypass the centrifuge? Or what is a centrifuge, basically? So a centrifuge is a, a pre-filter, really. It's a machine that kind of spins the beer super fast, uh, clears up, kind of gets rid of, spins out any kind of dry, hot particle, yeast particles without actually filtering the beer. So you're kind of keeping all that flavor locked in while getting rid of the solids within the beer. Uh, a lot of the kind of our production team, especially our packaging team, they don't particularly like packaging kind of really hazy, murky beers because they can block up filling heads on the canning line and things like that. But I kind of said to them, I want this as danky and as murky as physically possibly uh, we can. So basically that's what this beer is. Now the hops in it, uh, I think we have for Citra, Sultana, that's a fairly new hop, used to be called Denali. Quite spicy, it's got that kind of spiciness to it, a little bit of citrus, and then UK Harlequin. Now, Harlequin is a fairly new hop that's been on the market for about a couple of years now, not so, not in sort of any big quantities. You might have saw a, small, a few smaller breweries using it. Now, we kind of get that supply through a company called Charles Farham. Uh, they kindly give us quite a few kilograms of it to trying this beer and ever since I kind of smelt it about two years ago it always I was always kind of blown away by the aroma of the hops when you kind of rub them together and smelt it and I've been dying to use it in a beer ever since so this is the first beer that we've used it in and um, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it so let's give it a pour now these kinds of beers these kind of New England IPAs I always kind of like to turn the sort of can around upside down or whatever just in case it has a little bit of sediment in it that you kind of want in the beer if you want it to be have that sort of murkiness it doesn't all set, sort of settle out but i always give it a bit of a turn upside down just to get a bit of uniform sort of clarity in the beer so i mean as soon as you're pouring it now you kind of get that it's a typical new england ipa isn't it it's kind of big murky um, i love that kind of translucent luminous golden sort of color to it it's absolutely fantastic so yeah, you get that on the nose straight away. I get a lot of sort of pineapple with it. You kind of get that dankiness, that resinous, uh, sort of piney from the Sultana as well. Um, let's get in. Cheers, guys. Yeah, again, it's, the aroma is very, very similar uh, to the taste. Really low bitterness to it as well. You kind of get a little bit of bite on the back, but I think that's just because there's so much kind of yeast and proteins left in the beer. That does add to the, the sort of bitterness. It's not the hops giving it that because we always try and keep the IBUs down on it as well. But yeah, you get it. I get a really piney, fresh sort of flavors and aromas with this and it's, it's a great beer. Cheers guys. Yeah, it's nice that. <laughs> 